Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. So I'm back doing the three groups guys and I'm really excited to be doing the three groups. Today I wasn't sure actually if I'd be recording an archetypes video or a pick a card. I knew it was going to be one or the other. I only have energy and time to do one so I thought yeah until like a couple of hours ago I didn't realize I'm like oh okay we're doing pick a card um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a slightly shorter reading per group okay so what we're going to do is two oracle cards four tarot cards and I will use the Vedic astrology deck to clarify if we need to now one of you has reminded me in the comments which is so brilliant you said hey when are you going to do the video where you're going to talk through every single one of these cards I recorded the footage for that video yesterday I just need to sit now and do the audio for it and I also need to do some editing for that as well because what I'm thinking as well is that I can add some text and I can kind of fill that video with a bit more detail so it can become a bit of a learn astrology video. You'll see what I mean. So I think in the coming weeks that video should be ready. It will take me a while to make that one. So just keep your eyes peeled. That's a project that's been on my desk pretty much ever since I made this deck. <laughs> so you can see that in my world things take a really long time. And there's a lot of delay energy and that's because I'm in Saturn Mahadasha. I've got a lot of Saturn in my chart and you guys know this. You guys know just how delayed things are in my world. So that's the way it is. And yeah, I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm kind of starting to enjoy it now. <laughs> well, hmm, sort of. <laughs> anyway, group number one, if you want to choose group number one or this beautiful orange calcite stone, then you are welcome. I'll try and get it to focus. Is that focusing? Yeah, I think it is. Isn't that lovely? And I, I made this little wire thing and stuck it on there and so that I could wear it as a pendant. And these two were also pendants, but the gold bit fell off. Um, this is a green. Now I'm not entirely sure, actually. Maybe one of you, I think one of you has told me in the comments below green quartz is it as simple as that could be I think someone's already mentioned what that is and we've got this beautiful rainbow moonstone so pick your stone that you like uh, and I will see you in your reading hi there group number one if you chose group number one or this beautiful orange calcite stone then you are in the right place <clears throat> group one if you missed the intro I was just saying there that we're going to have a reduced reading it's going to be a smaller reading not as many cards so I'm going to do four tarot cards and I've got two oracles so that's what it is that's what we're going to do and then I'll use the Vedic astrology deck to clarify okay there we go we've got four of those so yeah I'm gonna be a bit more swift uh, because well time geez I didn't know today I was even gonna be doing this and I didn't know was it gonna be a collective reading or these three last night I thought I might do a collective reading but then yeah today I've had the guidance that no you're doing this so it's like okay I'm doing this guidance is an incredible thing like if you tune into it you really do get told <laughs> what to do next all right let's have a look let's see what's going on group number one it's been a long time since I've done one of these readings all right let's take a look let's take a look at well I drew this first so let's have a look at it mountain all right and it's really interesting you've got mountain you've also got this orange calcite 
we're working with third chakra here we're working with power we're working with energy we're working with a big project we're working with something that's probably hard to do this is your mountain to climb you are on it but how are you doing with it so let's take a look Oh, lovely. Great card to receive. Gratitude. I love this. Yes, gratitude is such a beautiful energy. And when we're in gratitude, when we're in true, when we're in a true state of gratitude, this is something I observed just recently. I was recently feeling enormously grateful for something simple. And I discovered that gratitude is actually for the simplest of things typically like when I look at what I'm really grateful for it's probably something very simple and basic it's not something extravagant or complicated or hard to attain well, yeah when I've been in true deep states of gratitude I'm just so happy for the simple things in life just so so happy so that's a great card to receive. All right, let's take a look at these. You've got the Queen of Swords. So there could be some boundary work. Every time I see her, to me it represents boundaries, but let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at all of these. We've got judgment. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. The Eight of Cups. All right, let's have a think. I'm going to sort of synthesize all of these together. I think you're doing really well. You're definitely doing really well because you've got this gratitude card come in. I think you're coming to the end of something that's been really difficult that you have had to leave. You've had to leave something. You've had to put up boundaries. I'm also getting like you've had to take your self-care to the next level as well or even just implement self-care. You're at the beginning. You're at the beginning of a new journey you're at the beginning of something new but this thing whatever it is that you've I think you've overcome something really really huge I think you're feeling grateful for you I think the the thing that you're feeling grateful for is you following the call following your own intuition knowing that judgment day is kind of coming for all of us and that the, like there's this feeling of this is my life I should do what's right for me I have to do what's right for me because this is my life there's a gratitude in here I think the gratitude is for yourself and I think that's wonderful I think you've been doing some absolutely incredible work group number one and I think you've I think you've climbed your mountain, whatever that mountain has been. Also, you've got this orange color here. Your third chakra is probably really strong right now. I kind of want to say you've done it. I think you've done it. I think you've done whatever this is. Let's take a card here from the Vedic Astrology deck for this new beginning. We've got a new beginning here. What's the new beginning about? Gee, that came quickly. Should we take it? Let's take it. Let's take two. Let's be greedy. <laughs> You've been doing your work <laughs> really well. So let's, let's lavish you now with information on this new beginning. What's going on? What's coming up? Let's take that one. Yeah, all right. Oh, cards overboard. There we go. All right, let's see this one first. Mars in the 10th. Yes, this is great. This is that Midas touch archetype that I talked about recently. So you've got the Midas touch. All right. So this new pathway, leader who takes bold steps 
earns much wealth, faces tests. But it's like, you're ready for the test. You're like, yeah, is there another test? Bring it. Gimme. You know, I can do it. Uh, affection and respect towards father. Healthy, strong, enlightened. Yes, beautiful card to get. Look at that. Mars in his exaltation place. We've got the little star there in the 10th house. All right, fantastic. So this is a very, very good new beginning uh, that you're about to step into. Let's have another card about this. Oh, fantastic. Rahu in the 12th. All right. What have we got here? Achieves foreign settlement. Wealthy. May lack morals. Distant from mother. Gains wealth overseas. Is wealthy. Overcomes enemies. Ambitious. I'm going to read this. This is Rahu in the 12th of entertainment, escapism, fun, holidays. I'm going to read it in that way. I'm going to read that this, it's like you deserve some kind of break. You deserve rest. You deserve escapism, holiday, fun. Uh, you know, yeah, well done, group number one. This is a really terrific spread that you've got here. That's amazing. I don't feel the need to draw any more cards. If you're not feeling it or if you're feeling like, well, no, I'm not close to a holiday or anything like that, just know, oh dear, the sun is really streaming in. I'll see if I can sort that out. Bring the blind down. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, the sun just started to, wow, the sun has not made an appearance this afternoon and now it's here. Um, if you feel like I'm not really anywhere near a holiday or achieving this thing or whatever, be grateful. It's your gratitude that's going to speed up the whole thing. And this is gratitude for yourself. Okay, this is not gratitude for another person or things or money or no. There's something you have to be grateful for yourself that there's something about the way that you are that you need to be grateful for. And that, you feeling that gratitude is really going to rapidly uh, accelerate the the path that you're on you are going to get to this place of success we've got Mars in the 10th success Midas touch you know what you turn touch turns to gold and projects going well and all that kind of thing and then we've got Rahu in the 12th Rahu in the 12th that's our desire that's where we want to go 12th is holidays escapism fun you know retreat uh, something, yeah, some kind of reward, something along those lines. Group number one, this has been an amazing, amazing spread. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I hope you're okay with the shorter format. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or this beautiful green stone <laughs> i'm just gonna call it a green stone uh, then you are in the right place and we've got sun we've got sun streaming through the blinds so apologies about that i shouldn't you know it's so funny while we've had really hot days because this apartment where i am it gets so crazy hot I was like cursing the summer sun and uh, and the other thing is like yeah when, when it's sunny and I'm filming sometimes it's welcome but sometimes it's just like oh man I'm trying to get my work done here sun it's much better when it's overcast because then you don't get these bars of light <laughs> but here in England it's really not a good idea to ever curse the sun or say oh I wish the sun wouldn't shine or something like that because winter is coming and we're oh my gosh we're not going to have sun for a long time all right let me take one of these I don't want it to be upside down let's do that here we go oh that definitely wants to be hit okay and we'll have one of these how are you wherever you are in the world is that the right way yes um, I hope you're well, wherever you are. And it's been a long time since I've done one of these three group things. We're doing a mini spread here, and I just did it for group one, and I loved it. I thought, yeah, this is great. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this format as well. Let me know 
how you go all right we've got 44 strength that's a beautiful card and look at that we've got green everywhere as well and it's kind of like the green that grows well I'm looking at the card not through my camera screen but in real life there's a lot of gray and there's kind of white you could say that this is the green that comes after winter interesting okay so we've got strength strong heart we've got green there as well Ooh, workaholic right yes I yeah I totally know I well I don't know this energy lately <laughs> I have not been a workaholic lately I actually genuinely allowed myself to not work on the hot days I think that was a good thing for me all right but let's see what's going on for you we've got the moon okay seven of wands right hanged man okay oh beautiful the empress i love this card all right let's see what's going on here for you group number two i'm gonna have to think a little bit to synthesize all this It's quite interesting. I think you've been working really, really hard. You've been working really hard. So there is a lot of energy expenditure. But what I came to here is like strength. Um, and then I'm kind of asking myself, are you on the brink of burnout or any of that but we do have the empress here so i feel like you're working hard within your limits i think you're working hard within your limits i think you're doing well i don't think you're burning out because we've got the empress here so there is a feeling that things are in control things are not out of control you are being really strong there is a lot of energy expenditure you're working you're being strong but there is this feeling of for how much longer am i going to have to keep sustaining this um so for how much longer am I, because it's unknown there's this feeling of it's unknown and you're at the same plane of existence so let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at. But I'm getting a sense. I'm getting a sense that you're doing really, really well. With where you are. But I'm also you see there's a dark blue here. There's a limit. Let's take a look. Let's see. All right. So I want to shuffle on. I want to shuffle on workaholic this and this what further guidance do we have so that's workaholic it's the moon and one more sun's disappearing behind the clouds I can feel it oh no now it's coming out <laughs> it's going to keep going up and down all right let's see workaholic what do we have we've got yeah Saturn in the sixth house that's a confirmation if ever there was one we've got the dark same dark blue color achieves success through hard work lives long destroys enemies 
works for the benefit of others assets built slowly after marriage yeah there is this slow sense here it's like this when is when is this plane of my life when am i going to graduate from this it's like you know i'm still here kind of thing and you're being really that like you're being really strong you do, i feel like you're doing everything right everything's great everything's really good when so i was asking about when and we've got rahu in the third house outwardly brave receives criticism excellent communicated gift of gab difficult relationship with siblings strong physique good energy i'm getting a sense and i know this is a timeless reading but let's just consider the timings we do have rahu ketu shift coming so I feel like this Rahu Ketu shift is going to bring some new energy for you. And yeah, I am yet to make that video. It's very much on my list. Um, but let's see if you're watching this another time. Well, this is speed. Rahu in the third can be a thing of speed because it's mercurial mercury and virgo quick witted people um, fast people sports people you know they often have like gemini virgo or third house sixth house type of thing so maybe you are on the brink of imminent change something's going to change for you soon But we'll have a look at the next card as well. Okay, doing the eighth. Interesting. Philosophical outlook. Wealthy lives long. Lower digestive issues. Seek support. Finds it hard to get. Questions mother's affection. Okay. And that's come here for the hanged man. Because with the hanged man, I was getting that that plane of existence where you're still moving through and we have a Ketu card. Interesting that we have Rahu, we have Ketu here, which is comfort zone. I think what you need to do at this time is ask yourself, you see, because she's comfortable. <laughs> the Empress is always very comfortable. So I think this is something about maybe you need to ask yourself and to look at the fact that um, am I too comfortable? Am I too comfortable? And what do I need to be doing? Rahu in the third is hands-on effort, but not work, okay? Because you, the, when it comes to work, you're doing the maximum. So this is, the, and some change is needed. Okay, so you need, there, there is some change that's needed here, but it's not more work. Okay, so don't worry about doing more work because you're at the top of that. Like you can't do any more work than what you're doing. So you're definitely working the hardest, but it's like there's some pivot that's needed. There's some change in thinking that's needed. And what I'm thinking is that you have to be more empress-like. So you will lift and shift the baseline of your life by what you say no to and by going slow. So let's say you get some emails and they're asking you, oh, you have to do this work and you have to do that work. Well, if you get those emails and it's 10 to 1, maybe you need to make lunch. Like It's small things like that. But put yourself first. Put yourself first. And yeah, you'll lift and shift the baseline of life by what you say no to. That's very Venus. That's very Empress type energy. So eat your lunch. Treat yourself like an Empress. Treat yourself like an Emperor. Treat yourself first. The emails can wait. The emails can wait until after lunch. Okay, um, yeah, and I think that's the pivot that you need to make. 
look after yourself. What is due to you is going to come to you. Okay, if, if you've got good karma clocked up, it's coming. There's no doubt about it. Saturn must give it to you. So don't worry. The emails can wait. Okay. Um, don't be overworking. But I don't, I don't get a sense that you are overworking. But yeah, I think you're probably at the top limit on the work side of things. So you're definitely not lazy or any of that. I think you need to embody more Empress energy. I just realized for group one, I didn't draw any quote. Well, let's take a quote for you, group two. I, I suppose group one will just have to come back next time. Ah, interesting. A man who uses force is afraid of reasoning. Right. So yeah, so this is interesting because we've got here strength, workaholic, Saturn in the sixth. I think physically you're working at top capacity and it's like what you need to do going forward is kind of and is to reason with yourself is to sort of say okay I'm going to deliberately go slow I'm going to deliberately take time I'm going to deliberately make sure I eat my lunch on time today you know uh, that kind of thing I think that is definitely going to be helpful why don't we take one more <laughs> Okay, let's go for one more. Interesting how I totally forgot to take it for group one. I feel bad now. It doesn't matter. We must move forward. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, I love this one. Yes. Measure a thousand times and cut once. That's brilliant. This is so true. I'm going to be doing some sewing this weekend. So this is like, that's why this one's been in my mind ever since I wrote it. I love that. Measure a thousand times cut once yeah deliberately go a bit slower when saturn you see saturn may not want you to work harder he might want you to go slower and and but you choose okay you choose how things are going to go forward group number two this has been such a good reading let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you i hope you're liking the swift and quicker format that we've got here and yeah i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful moonstone rainbow moonstone apologies about the lighting it's going to be very up and down we've got the sun coming up going down it doesn't know what it wants to do <laughs> rainbow moonstone all right group number three let's do this let's see what's going on four cards a couple of oracles do you know this is i'm i'm really liking the short format it's um it's very good But you let me know if you like it. I mean, yeah, I think you guys know I'm just always doing my best <laughs> with whatever time and energy I have. I haven't been able to, like these last few weeks, my goodness, with the um, heat wave. Oh my gosh, it gets too hot in here and I can't do anything. Anyway, but the whole rest of the year, it's just so nice being exactly here. Like I get freezing cold in Sydney, so Sydney's not the most conducive location for work, would you believe? I mean, it's just the houses that are not designed for... The houses are strange there, they just like... It's colder in the house <laughs> than outside. Oh, anyway, enough of my weather complaining. Let's see what's going on for you, group three details details you're working hard you're being mercurial yeah fine detail maybe you're knee deep in a project or something like that okay oh fantastic joy look at that that's beautiful she's having a good time that's great oh, i love it good good all right well maybe you're doing some kind of project that a lot of details but you're loving it you're having a good time let's see maybe there's a project you want to do that would have a lot of details okay we've got the justice card coming up right 
Oh, how nice. The Ace of Cups. Beautiful. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I do think that you are loving your work. Group number three. Oh, there's something about... Oh, good. Movement. Forward movement. This is great. This is really, really good energy. I'm liking this. This is good. I think I get the sense that you're loving your work or that you're about to really start loving your work or you're about to start moving into work that you absolutely love. This is love of work, I do believe. And I think we'll confirm on the justice card, but what I'm getting there is I feel like maybe you're letting go of the need for justice. Or you're going to let go of the need for justice. Or you're going to let go of needing something to be a certain way or balanced or something like that. You're going to let go. There's going to be something. I feel like there's going to be something you let go of which will open up a whole new realm of work, of creativity, of abundance, of you getting knee deep in the details of a project but really enjoying that. And it's something about after a period of rest, this is what I discovered. I actually allowed myself to have those, uh, you know, when it was really hot here in the apartment and I could just well, hardly breathe. Like if I, I texted someone, I was like blinking is making me sweat. Like it was very uncomfortable. But I allowed myself, I was like, I genuinely don't want to do any work. And so I allowed it. I didn't do any work. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is what I found is that, um, and this is the justice card here, what I found is that when I allowed myself to just not do anything, because that's what I wanted to do, all this natural motivation for my work has bubbled up. And it's like, so when, so let's say, instead of me just totally letting go during those days, and I just worried about work, and I tried to sit down and do stuff but wasn't effective and worried and this and that and that's not real letting go that's not real clarity yeah justice balance clarity I do think that's what this is all about let's clarify with one of these cards the justice card but I think so if let's say for example you're watching this reading and you're going I'm not feeling any enthusiasm for my work what you need to do is you need to just not do any work or just genuinely totally let it go and space will clear and within that space all this joy and love for what you do is going to bubble up and there's going to be movement and there's going to be things happening. Rainbow moonstone, you've got this beautiful rainbow here, you've got all colours it's like all this life and love and beauty wants to come through you. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at justice and see if we can get any further information there. But yeah, what you want is you want... Oh, two cards. Let's take them both. What you want is this natural... You want this natural, beautiful energy to bubble up through you, you know? That's what you want. And... Yeah, it's basically just a total letting go. You, it, when you totally let go and just enjoy space and freedom and, all right, I'm going to do nothing. I'm just going to trust that whatever's next is going to happen or whatever. And you'll be amazed. All this good stuff wants to come into the space. That's another thing I've learned. When we clear space, whatever comes in is better whatever comes in is yeah it's more loving more joyous better a better thing comes in when we clear space that's also what I've discovered oh wow this is a great card Venus in the 11th how fantastic I think this is one of my favorite stars uh, mega wealthy has many luxuries loves partner friends and children forms strong alliances with people who take a stand yes yes there's a bit of a 
humanitarian thing going on here is sensitive. Um, Zoe Sugg has got her Venus in the 11th and I really like her chart and I like her life a lot as well. I think what she's created is so wonderful. It's a great omen for social media. Okay, those of you who are on social media or creative in that way, this is a really good omen for that. Also for collaborations, working with friends uh, is going to be a really good thing for you as well. And there will be invitations and opportunities to work with people. That is coming up for you for sure. Oh, wonderful. Moon in the first. This is lovely. Good on you, group number three. These are great cards to get. So body feels fantastic. Great health. Receives jewels and luxuries. Fame. Can be moody, sensitive, unpredictable. If afflicted, so an affliction will be like Saturn opposite or, you know, a Rahu aspect or there's all kinds of combinations there. Uh, if afflicted, difficult relationship with mother. Okay. So... I was taking both of these for this and yeah I mean when it comes to the whole justice thing we, so mother has appeared so it might well be that you've let go of judgment from mother it might be that uh, this is an omen that yeah relationship with mother is is going to improve also Venus in the 11th is very much friends so you've got some really positive cards here for improvements in relationships with friends uh, or more good times with them or you're going to have fun with your friends also improvements in relationship with mother or more good times with mother or something about you nurturing yourself if you nurture yourself more that's going to be really good for you and that could accelerate uh, all this good wonderful beautiful stuff coming into your life Group three, this has been amazing. Let's take a couple of quotes. Love the cards here, wow. Okay, let's try and dig in a bit. All right, let's take a look, see what comes through. Give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. Oh, I love that. Abraham Lincoln. Yes, this is a really, really good quote. You see, the first four sharpening the axe. That's what that nothing time looks like. You know, in, in the justice card, and I was saying that like, I spent those days, I think it was seven days or something, where I, like, I, I did not do any work. It's so bad. I think I had two readings in that, that week or something. But, so I did the readings, but I didn't do all the other stuff I had on my to-do list. But I was probably sharpening the axe, you know. Because human beings, we're not machines. We can't work all the time. We just can't. So you need you need strategy time. You need thinking time. You need resting time. You need to do nothing as well. You need to just give yourself an actual break. That is important that we do that. So perhaps this reading might be just encouraging you if you've been working too much to take a break as well. Let's see what we've got here. A happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances, but rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. Yeah, Hugh Downs. And this is a really great quote for... Let's have a look here. So again, this is a preparation thing as well. If you get the attitudes right, the outer must reflect a better life to you. That is for sure. The outer will match. The outer will match if you consistently hold love in your heart. You know, the outer will match if you... And this could just be that you love your work, you know. But it doesn't mean you need to do 
so much activity all the time. Maybe this is just about getting your relationship right with your work, with yourself and with your work. That's kind of what it feels like. But yeah, group three, this has been, oh wow, and that's a three of pentacles, that's your number. <laughs> group three, this has been an amazing reading. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys are okay as well with the shorter format readings. It's easier for me to do. Uh, I hope to keep doing these. It's energy dependent on me and how I'm guided as well and a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, let me know how you get on in the comments below. I always love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.